All thanks and praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahashum Wabrakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth. To the rest of the church who believe as well, you men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters as well. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever, okay? The so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, we are indeed immortals, but we are immortals and mortal bodies. But we are indeed immortal. We are forever. The Israelites still exist. The Israelites have not been done away with. Okay? Let's read Romans 15 and 4 to set this lesson off. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So, let's examine this. It says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime, the things found within the Bible are things written aforetime. Okay? And then it says, were written for our learning. So the things found within the Bible were written for our learning. Who is the hour? The hour is speaking of the Israelites, which would mean what? The Israelites still exist. This is still about the Israelites. It always has been, and it always will be about the Lord's people. This is not about any other race of people, okay? Now, concerning the other nations, our people are among them. But the Lord is drawing our people out through the word. The Lord is gathering the tribes through the word. And we're learning, okay? And we're receiving that comfort based off of our belief in the words of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. So the things written aforetime were written for the Israelites who are currently here on earth today. Okay? Now let's go to Romans chapter 11 and verse 1. I say then, hath the power cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. So the apostle Paul had made mention that the Lord did not cast away his people. <coughs> Seeing how our people were living as the heathen, our people had constantly, you know, been caught up in being wicked, doing things that weren't pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. Yeah, the Lord has punished us Constantly, repetitively, he's punished us, he's afflicted us, he's put us under these different uh, nations, but he has not casted us away as being his people forever. I say then, hath the power cast away his people, God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. So in order for you to be an Israelite, you have to come from the seed of Abraham down to Isaac, down to Jacob. Okay? Now today, that would be the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. Paul was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. He was from the family of Benjamin under the house of Israel, the house of Jacob, which would be a so-called West Indian today, or Jamaican. Verse 2, the power hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What ye not what the scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to the power against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, 
and they seek my life. So the point being, the Lord has not casted away his people. We are still the Lord's people until this day. Okay? The Lord didn't say, you know what? Since the Israelites, my people decided to break my covenant, I'm going to allow them to fall to to fall under extinction, to not exist no more. Okay? You have people saying, how do you know you're an Israelite? How do you know the Israelites still exist? Okay? The Israelites are here. You see them every day. Okay? Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the sons of Jacob have not been destroyed. We have not been consumed. We are indeed still the Lord's people until this very day. We do still exist until this very day. And at the end of it all, okay, we are going to receive the kingdom through Yahweh Shai. And we are going to be made immortals. Right now we are immortal in mortal bodies. That's why the scriptures also tell us that... Uh, yeah, we're gods, but we shall die like men. So although you see Israelites being killed all day long, whether it's through gun violence, okay, whether it's through um, natural cause, whether it's through uh, accidents such as a car wreck or whatever it may be, the spirit in them being an Israelite, it's already promised unto them that they would receive the kingdom of heaven and with the kingdom of heaven comes immortality okay so not only are the Israelites not done away with here in this current age the Israelites will never be done away with for an eternity okay and the Lord is not going to change his mind from that for I am the Lord I change not therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed let's go into that word consumed here To accomplish, cease. So the Israelites have not ceased from existing. Consume. So the Lord has not destroyed us. And when you consume something, you can also burn it. The Lord didn't burn up the Israelites like he's going to consume Esau after a thousand years of their slavery. Determine, end, fail, finish, be complete. So we're not finished. We're not complete. Well, we'll be complete in the kingdom, we'll be made whole, we'll be perfect, but we'll never be complete in a sense of being finished or done away with. Be accomplished. See, we're coming to a time where these nations are going to be under us. And after that thousand years, these other nations outside of Esau, Edom are going to receive their land. They're going to be living under the law, statutes, and commandments, and any time that they go off, they'll be punished according to the law. And since they'll be in the flesh, they'll be able to sin. Okay? But we'll be made immortal. We'll have new bodies. We won't sin. But Esau, after that thousand years of him suffering slavery, he will be accomplished. His purpose will be finished. He will no longer be needed. And he will be destroyed. Okay? Be ended. Be at an end. Be finished. Be spent. To be complete, be at an end. And the scriptures tell you that Esau is the end of the world. Esau is coming to an end, but Jacob is the beginning that follows. And that beginning is going to be an everlasting kingdom. Okay? So I think we get the point on the uh, definition there for the word consumed. For I am the Lord, Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So... The nation of Israel, being the Lord's people, are not done away with. The Lord's people are the Lord's people forever. And you heathens can't do nothing about it. Okay, starting with you so-called white people. Who go back to Esau, Edom. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 37. Thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured, and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith the Lord. So guess what, Esau? Okay? You can't measure the heavens. You're trying to do that currently. Okay? You haven't even touched a grain of sand 
you haven't even touched a speck of what the uh, heavens have to offer. You can't even get nowhere close to the depths of the sea. Okay? So seeing that you can't even do that, that proves alone that the nation of Israel still exists. No man, woman, boy or girl has ever been able to search out the heavens and they have, ne they have never been able to search out the very depths of the ocean. Okay? The Lord, he did that for a reason and guess what? When it comes to the heavens, okay, and all the foundations of the earth being searched out, that's for our kingdom. That's what we'll be able to do. That wasn't given to you devils or the rest of you heathen. Nobody in this current age can do that right now. But when the nation of Israel get out of captivity, when the nation of Israel get those new bodies, when we're completely immersed into the new covenant, we'll be able to search out the earth. We'll be able to search out the heavens. All right, but you devils, y'all can't do that. And you're trying to right now. Okay, and it's been proven that you ain't never went to the moon. Hell, let alone the uh, the billionaire, the billionaire that uh, had the remote control, uh, the, the Xbox controller that he was using to control the Titan submarine. And he was with, I think, four other people. This is a billionaire now. Even with billions of dollars, he couldn't even come close to reaching the depths of the sea before him and all his partners died from implosion. Okay? Ain't no way in hell the nation of Israel is done away with. If you can't reach the depths of the sea, how in the hell can you reach the moon? Thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured and the foundation and the foundations of the earth searched out, okay? I forget how much of the Amazon hasn't been discovered, okay? There's so many parts of the earth, even on land, let alone the sea, that haven't even been discovered because the Lord is not allowing that right now, okay? And in fact, there's places on, on this earth that not only haven't been discovered, but if they were discovered, you may see creatures that you never thought existed, okay? Thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith the Lord. And our people have done every act of abomination possible. But the Lord still is not going to do away with us because we are his people. He made that covenant with us and that covenant is forever okay let's touch on first chronicles 16. first chronicles chapter 16 and verse 13. O ye seed of israel his servant ye children of jacob his chosen ones being you so-called negroes latinos and native americans primarily he is the Lord, our power. His judgments are on all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham and of his oath unto Isaac, and hath confirmed the same to Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. So this covenant is with us forever the nation of israel is forever we are not done away with the lord's people are not done away with okay that's why currently you see men on the highways and byways on the streets teaching and preaching this word man wearing garments okay teaching this truth not on the streets gang banging selling drugs to our people feeding our people lies but on the streets teaching and preaching the holy bible teaching and preaching about the heavenly father and his son okay why is that happening because the israelites are still here okay let's go to psalms chapter 24 
and verse 6 this is the generation of them that seek him and remember for a long time our people have fell away from knowing that we've been Israelites but now suddenly we're saying that we're Judah okay we're, we're Benjamin we're Manasseh we're Zebulon and so forth and the reason why we're saying all these things is because that covenant that was made with us was made with us forever unto a thousand generations so even unto this current generation although we were so lost that someone who was carnal okay they probably would have felt in their mind there's no way we could ever find out the truth well the Lord allowed us to find out the truth again because the power that we serve is real we serve the power of heaven and earth nothing gets past him he holds uh, authority all throughout uh, creation, all throughout things that exist and don't exist, man. Okay? This is the generation of them that seek him. And seek thy face, O Jacob, Salah. Why is this the generation? Because we still exist. Why is it that the Negro, Latino, and Native American are the ones proclaiming to be Israelites? Because we're not done away with. Why are we the ones... That, that line up with the curses because we're not done away with okay why are we the ones doing the same thing that the prophets did before us because we are not done away with man the Israelites still exist let's stay in the book of Psalms but let's go to Psalms chapter 105 because again the covenant is with us forever man the Israelites are not done away with Psalms 105 and 6 O ye seed of Abraham his servant Ye children of Jacob his chosen He is the Lord our power His judgments are in all the earth He hath remembered his covenant forever The word which he commanded to a thousand generations Which covenant he made with Abraham And his oath unto Isaac And confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law And to Israel for an everlasting covenant so again Israel is forever that covenant that was made with us is forever the law statutes and commandments were made with who were made with the Israelites okay let's stay in the book of Psalms okay we'll, we'll stay in this chapter or not in this chapter but we'll, we'll stay in this um this book and we'll go to chapter 147 and 19 he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Okay, there wasn't no other races around us when the Lord did this. It was just us that he made this covenant with. And with this covenant came laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay, he hath not dealt so with any nation. So there is no other nationality outside of the nationality of Israel that the Lord is dealing with. He's not concerned with no other nation. Okay. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. Okay? So praise Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that he's only dealing with us. That's beautiful, man. That Doesn't that feel good seeing that this world hates us? This world doesn't want anything to do with us. These heathen, you know, they snuff at us. But yet the Lord, the, 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 the king of all creation that rules everything... He made a covenant with us because he loves us, man. He's our power. All right? Israel is forever. Let's end it with this. Okay? Isaiah chapter 45. And verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Drop down ye heavens from above and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. And right now you're seeing righteousness spring up. You're seeing our people spring up because we are the Lord's people. Matter of fact, let's jump back to uh, verse four. 
for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. So the Israelites are the Lord's chosen people. I have even called thee by name. I have sure named thee. Thou hast not known me. I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no power beside me. I girded thee. Thou hast not known me. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So this is the power who said, you know what, I'm gonna make a covenant with your with your race of people. With your race of people, I'm going to deal with. I'm going to put the name of Jacob, the name of Israel upon you, and all those who come from you. Okay, Yashar Allah, princes of power, princes of the power. Okay, princes of Yahweh. Okay. Drop down ye heavens from above and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Now let's jump down to the main point. Verse 17, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So we will never have an end. We are forever. The nation of Israel is forever, man. Okay? Although a lot of our people are wicked, a lot of our men, women, sons, and daughters may have to die like mortals, but at the end of the day, we've been promised immortality. We've been promised salvation through Yahweh Shai, but it starts with the elect men. Okay? So, we ain't done away with, the Lord ain't done with no other nation. We forever, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. So, Kahala, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Lord willing, this was simple and edifying. Until my next lesson, Shalom.